Hi, my name is Bob Kreese. I'm a professor of philosophy at Stony Brook University. My name is Fred Goldhaber, and I'm a professor in the C.N. Young Institute for Theoretical Physics and the Department of Physics and Astronomy at Stony Brook University. The book is based on a course that the two of us have been teaching for about seven or eight years now, and it's about the, the cultural impact of the quantum. That is, uh, everyone's heard of Schrodinger's cat and the Heisenberg uncertainty principle and quantum leaps. Well, how do these terms migrate from this remote corner of physics into popular culture? It's about how quantum itself, its innate character, has become something that people talk about, that they feel is part of their conversation. The idea of the quantum is that energy is not infinitely divisible, but uh, comes ultimately in packets of a finite size. And so what we did in the course and the book was to explore these meanings. And we found out that yes, indeed, there's a lot of zany and flaky and manipulative um, use of quantum imagery, but at the bottom there also is a fundamental cultural transformation going on. Um, that's what we wrote about it. And we called this fundamental um, transformation the quantum moment. At the end of the course, we ask students to do final projects, which consist of some quantum-inspired work in some other medium. And we get a whole range of, of things. We get plays, we get pieces of music. And one year, we had someone bring in a sculpture that looked like it was composed of just a random assortment of odds and ends, but when he put it on the table and shined a flashlight on it, against a wall appeared the image of a cat. The cat, in other words, is there if you look at it the right way and not if you don't. And, and at the end, what, what we find is, is, is not that our world is familiar and the quantum world is strange, but that our world is a little bit stranger than we thought. 